Hey guys, this is Mac Kids on One. And today is going to be um shell scripting lesson one. Um and the the deal with this is that there's a programming language basically built into terminal that you probably don't know about. And it's not really considerably a programming language, but it's pretty powerful. And there are a bunch of scripts on your computer that use it that you probably don't know about. So um let me just um explain this to you. So when you open up terminal or iterm or something like that, um, you'll you'll notice that um, basically this um, command line will come up and and it lets you type commands. But say you use something like iterm instead of terminal, yet it's exactly the same except for maybe the GUI of the application, but the text is all the same. Let me explain to you why because this is actually a terminal application running in terminal um, so terminal is just one big terminal application running in terminal called bash or sh or ash or whatever these are called shells and a shell is basically something that handles the login handles commands handles you know prompts and and handles closing programs and running new programs and stuff like that so shell this my my shell is processing this if i type like ash it's not installed but zsh i think i might have you can see it's a different prompt here and the shell is is a little bit different if i type um csh might be in here then this is um a shell scripting uh, more like c but um basically let me just explain to you what your default shell is is bash b a s h um, and this is basically um, a shell that processes commands. And you might have noticed at the command line, if you type while true do enter, it'll ask you to type another line. You can type echo, and, you know, hi, and then you can type done, and then it'll keep on printing out hi, something like that. Well, that was just a shell script that we wrote there. Because the, the point is that... Um, this shell is like a programming language and you can program it at the command line normally typically you can only program one line programs so if you type ls that's one line program the only command in that whole program is ls or but if you want to type multiple commands it can be ls semicolon space ls dash l r slash and then first i'll type ls then do ls dash l r slash instantly but um maybe you don't enjoy that so much and you want to do something else. So maybe you want to write a shell script. So if you do want to um, learn some shell scripting, um, feel free to watch our shell scripting 2 video and it will show you how to write a program effectively and easily using bash and terminal. And it's pretty powerful. It allows you to um, do if statements, check if files exist, have command line parameters, Info 101 was written mostly with um, Perl, but there was a lot of shell scripting involved in it. And I'll just show you real quick um, what Info 101 really um, looks like if you take a look at the source code of it, because it's actually open source just if you open it with um, Mac VIM. So I'll just open it with Mac VIM, and right here you can see... Um, it's all shell scripting. This is really simple shell. So, um, Info 101 was written mostly in shell scripting, so that is why you should um, learn shell scripting. It's just pretty powerful. So, um, thanks for watching, Mackins and One. Um, check out our, um, our shell scripting 2 video right now because it'll have all the information you need on how to shell script. So, uh, thanks for watching and bye.